So here we have 9.6 transforming the graph of a function by reflecting over an x-axis. So now they're taking a positive function, a regular function, and they're throwing a negative either outside the function or inside the basic function. And it makes a difference on where that value is. So if it's outside the basic function, what this does is it changes the signs of the y values. Now, if it's on the inside, then what it does is it changes the signs of the x values. Okay, and so what that is ultimately going to result in is if you're changing the y values from positive to negative or from negative to positive, it's going to reflect over the x-axis. And if it's on the inside and you're changing the x values, then that means what is on the right goes to the left and what is on the left goes to the right. So then in this case, it reflects over the y-axis. Okay, and so what I like to do is um, when I'm graphing it, I'm going to move all the points first and then you're going to connect the points with little segments. Okay, so for this instance in this graph, if I wanted to graph it in Alex, they're going to give you this image and then they're going to give you a blank graph and you have to draw the correct one. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this, this um, point here and its coordinates are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and positive 3. But the y values are going to change signs. So now it's going to be 6 and negative 3. And I'm going to put that point there. Here I have 4 and 0. And when you change the y value of 0, it doesn't change actually. It's still just 0. So that point doesn't move at all. Here we have the point 2 and negative 2. So if I change the sign of the y value, it becomes 2 and positive 2. This point is 0, 0. If I change the sign of the y value, 0 is still 0. So then once you have all of your dots, you're going to get a line segment and you're going to connect these two dots. So you click here, click here, and it'll draw the little line segment in between. And then you will click the line segment and click here and click here so it will go all the way through that other point. Okay, And then you notice that these are mirrors of each other, the pink and the purple, over the x-axis. So it's like the x-axis is the mirror and you see the reflection over that mirror. Now for part B, the negative is on the inside. So now I have to change the signs of the x values. So this point, which was positive 3 and positive 3, is now going to become negative 3 and still positive 3 for y. This one is 1 and positive 2, so now it's going to be negative 1 and positive 2. This here was negative 1 and 1. It's now going to turn into positive 1 and 1 because all I'm doing is changing the signs of the x value. Here it was negative 3 and 0, but now the x value changes to positive 3 and 0. And this is just one line segment, so you could click the button for segment, click this point, click this point, and it'll draw the line in between. And now this time the y-axis is acting like the mirror. So if you imagine this is the mirror, these are reflections of one another over that mirror. Okay.